doing today? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make chicken parmigiana or chicken parmesan. Um, I'm going to do a little different spin on it. I'm going to make it a healthier version. Um, most chicken parmesan recipes, the chicken breasts are breaded. So that's basically the difference um, is I am not breading the chicken, so it is a healthier and version. And don't worry, we are not sacrificing the flavor because it still is an amazing recipe. My kids ask for it all the time. They can't get enough of it. But one of the main reasons why I love this recipe, not only is it simple and it's flavorful, but it's three main ingredients. So let's get started. you'll want to do is take your chicken and place it in your pan. It can be frozen chicken or it can be thawed out. It doesn't matter. My opinion is when it's frozen, um, it doesn't get dried out as much, but you know, to each his own. You can do whatever you like. Then you'll want to take your chicken and you'll want to season it. Um, I use Himalayan pink salt. Um, you can use whatever salt you want, but Himalayan pink salt is healthier. Um, and then just crushed pepper. And then take your chicken breasts and place them in the oven at 375. Okay, so while the chicken is cooking, I will show you what I do my prep work on. This is my kitchen island. I got it off of Craigslist for 50 bucks because it was missing a door, but I didn't want a door on it anyway because I wanted a cute basket with my recipe books. It is on wheels so I can move it around. It has lots of space so I can put lots of utensils and cooking stuff in it. Um, I had my husband put some hooks on the side so I can put some towels on the side. Um, also, I picked up this at the thrift store, and it is very helpful because it's a shelf I can put my oils on, and obviously I can get some paper towels off of it. On the side, it comes up, you can see, so it is very handy if I want a breakfast area for people to eat off of. So, yeah. Yeah. This is what I do my prep work on. The step you'll want to do is take your mozzarella and start grating it. Um, it looks a little funny in color if you can see because it happens to be smoked mozzarella. You do not have to use smoked mozzarella. Um, I like the flavor. It, give it gives it just a little extra bite to it. Um, it tastes great, but like I said, you do not have to use smoked mozzarella. You may use any kind of mozzarella that you prefer. So after about 30 minutes, your chicken should be ready for the next ingredient. So for your next ingredient, you'll want to take some spaghetti sauce and cover it over the chicken. Um, this happens to be homemade spaghetti sauce, but you can of course use any kind of spaghetti sauce in the jar or whatever, but obviously homemade spaghetti sauce is healthier. So you want to just cover your chicken with the spaghetti sauce. I'll put a link right down below to show you how I make my homemade spaghetti sauce. I like to put a lot of sauce on mine because people usually put their chicken parmigiana um, over noodles, but I like to put it over brown rice for it to be healthier, which is the mozzarella. Mozzarella is a healthier cheese. Um, if you prefer uh, cheddar cheese or any other cheese, you may but chicken parmigiana is with mozzarella anyway. So here is my smoked mozzarella. And I just like to put a lot of cheese on it. My kids love it. This is how it should look in the pan. And now you're ready to put it in the oven and cook it until the cheese melts and the sauce bubbles. All right, I think it's about time. Let's take it out of the oven. And this is how it should look. This is how the chicken parmigiana should look when it's all done. As you see, the cheese is all melted. 
and I can really smell the smoked mozzarella. I'm excited to try. So I hope you enjoyed this video of chicken parmesan. Hope you enjoyed making it with me, cooking it with me in my home, from my home to your home. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos and more recipes, or if you just want to come back and visit me and say hi. Just comment below if you have any questions, and I will try to get back to you. Bye.